All I rock is Louis Gucci Fendi Prada. She asked me what I'm gonna get her. I said nada. What's up, everybody? Smoking a magnificent mild cigar. Rocky Patel, vintage 1999 Connecticut. Churchill size. Check this out. Draped in the one and only Dolce Un Cabana. Smoke the Havana. I got money. Yeah, ich bin hasen, ich bin haben Geld. Suckers. Now this cigar came in this uh, frickin' test tube here, like an alien species um, test tube. See, it says right there, Vintage 99, Churchill, all that stuff. Nice cork, and it comes with like a sticker on the cork, and uh, pretty heavy-duty glass, you know. And if it couldn't get more pompous than that, I lit this with a cedar strip, because we're high-class pompous gentlemen today. Now guys, I'm not usually a mild cigar smoker. I kind of dislike Connecticut wrappers and mild cigars. When I smoke a cigar, I'm looking for a medium Maduro or like a full body, like heavy duty cigar, especially in these cold winter days, okay? In the summer, Connecticut's are all right. But guys, let me tell you, coming from a non-mild cigar smoker who doesn't really gravitate towards mild cigars and doesn't really see any Big deal in mild cigars this is freaking fantastic. Nice woody, mild wood, not like heavy wood. Mild wood with a creaminess, buttery creaminess. It doesn't taste like butter, it's just butter, buttery smooth. I'm getting a little bit of a an almond or like a roast chestnut flavor. Very mild, along with the creaminess. And this is a Churchill. I'm probably not even done with the first half even. Burn is a little bit wonky, but that's because I lit it with the cedar strip, and I can't really get a good light off of cedar strips ever. I don't have the technique to pull that off. But chestnuts roasting. On an open fire, she spread her legs open and started singing like a choir. <laughs> I think this was $12. But man, is it worth every penny. When I say it's worth every penny, it's worth every penny. No regrets. I actually got this as a birthday gift like three years ago. And I just kept it in my humidor the whole time, and I never smoked it. Why? Because it pains me to smoke expensive cigars, you know? Like, even if I get them as a birthday gift or whatever, whatever, I'm like, it's $13. I could be smoking 13 $1 cigars, you know? 13 sticks costing $1 individually, you know what I'm saying? So... Get this out of my fucking pocket. I look like a scientist. So guys, what are we at? Four minutes. Take a shot. Eins, zwei, drei. Prost. I chose Glenn Silver's whiskey. The cheap stuff that I have. Because it's a particularly mild whiskey as opposed to like Maker's Mark, Jack Daniels. And I also have some Jameson's, Jameson's, I think it's Jameson's Irish whiskey in the green bottle that I have to try out. It's Irish whiskey. It's from Ireland. It's from Ireland, you fucking potatoes. Potatoes. You fucking taters. You fucking taters like Conor McGregor. Shut your fucking shut your shut your fucking mouth. 
Shut your fucking mouth. We speak like the Irish now. I'm gonna be walking around on the streets. Shut your fucking mouth, you fucking tater. You tater. You fucking tater. You fucking twat and you fucking cunt. I like the sound that. Shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. They don't say the TH, they say like mouth. Mouth. They don't say mouth. Oh yeah, I was in the fields yesterday and uh, some sheep wanted to fuck me. What the fuck is up with that? You hear me? I got some porridge from Nan and then that shit was stale. I don't understand. I'm not too good of an Irish speaker, people, but it's my best impression right there. They have a singy songy type of way of saying it. It's like, I went to the market and the fucking twat told me it's fucking 20 quid. Now that's quid is English money. See, I confused the English accent. English accent would be like, oi, no, everything. English accent would be like, I went to the fucking market and, no, oh, that's, that's New Yorker accent. <sighs> Would you like a cup of tea? I went to the market, and the lady there at the, at the tell, at at the at the little desk over there, said that she wants to offer me a cup of tea. I said, "What the fuck? Have you lost your marbles, darling?" Fuck it, I like Irish I better. Shut your fucking mouth, <laughs> guys. I'm fucking hammered. <laughs> This cigar is fucking cool. I like it. That's good quality. Twelve dollars, thirteen dollars worth every penny. Like I said, I smoked Cohiba Red Dots, Dominican Republic. I smoked, you know, twenty dollar cigars, twenty five dollar cigars. I've smoked some expensive cigars, and this for thirteen dollars is way better as a mild cigar. I don't even like mild cigars. This is way better than a $20 Cohiba Red Dot. I feel classy when smoking this, man. I think it's just due to the presentation as well. It hypes you up like you have to open this big ass glass tube and it's like, oh man, this is gonna be good. And it is good. Okay. A minor hint of cedarness, uh, cedar now. Before it was kind of like a roast chestnut, sort of almond, smooth. Connecticut type of flavor. Now we're getting a little bit of a cedar mixed with a little bit of an oak maybe. Wood. Not like I said, not super woody, just mild woody with the creaminess and the smoothness and the just delicate, elegant flavor of the other stuff. It just combines perfectly. It's it just it's high class, people. It's high class. This is the type of cigar I smoke on a cruise ship. Going from New York to to Miami or New York to Jamaica. Oh, to Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take it to the Kokomos. We'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow. Ah, 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 oh no, way down in Kokomo. I love it. I waited three years to smoke this damn thing. And I don't regret it.
I should have smoked that sooner. See, that's my problem. Now I'm smoking these expensive ass cigars and say, damn, I want to smoke this again. And I'm going to be tempted to buy more, but then it's, I'm going to buy more, put them in my humidor, and it's like, oh, I want to smoke them, but no, too expensive. Hold them off for another two, three more years. Fucking hell. I heard of this super expensive cigar called, like, I forgot what it's called. The Lost City, or something like that. It's like a $35 or $40 cigar, and it's really hard to get. Opus X, I think? Something like that. Opus X, Lost City. And um, I heard it was really good. But a lot of, like I said, it's very rare. They only made a limited quantity. And a lot of people just keep it in their humidor and, like, age it. They don't really trade it or sell it. So it's hard to find. But That's silk, people. That's silk. That's what comes to my mind. Nice construction, nice smoke production, nice everything. Just luxurious as silk. If you can imagine that. Like I said, I'm not a mild cigar smoker, but this gets uh, 10 out of 10 for me. And it's not even that expensive. 10 $13. Cheap chump change. See you all guys in the next one. Shut your fucking mouth.